All right, welcome back to One Bills Live. Chris Brown, Steve Tasker with you. And join in studio now, fresh off the field, it's Naheem Hines after another practice today. All right, Naheem, it's been about half a season. Do you kind of feel settled in now? Or do you, you know, there's always that catch-up and acclimation period, but I know, like, these guys in this locker room, they put their arms around anybody that's new. I'm sure it was no different for you. Do you feel settled, comfortable? Yes, I do. I do feel settled, uh... I joke around a lot more today. I'm not as well, not today, but I joke around a lot more because, uh, you know, I don't have to focus on the plays as hard. So uh, <laughs> I hear the plays every day uh, in the meetings and stuff, and they don't sound uh, like another foreign language to me. So uh, I've been adjusting well, and those guys, like you said, have put their arms around me and welcomed me. So I'm very, very welcome, dear. And you've also, you're getting a handful of snaps every game on offense, but you're taking all the kick returns and the punt returns. How's that mix going? I when I returned kicks, I said, don't make me cover. I mean, just give me less to do because the whole team can be playing great and I could really screw it up, punt, right. return a punt, right? You know, so right, yeah. And that's, that's, how's that going, that mix? Um, it's, it's great. Uh, I, I think uh, the first thing is uh, my teammates, those guys believing in me since my first day. And, you know, guys like Saran Neal, you know, Tyler Matakevich, Taiwan right. Jones, those guys and those leaders on special teams have really had my back. So uh, they made it really, really – easy for me to be back there. And then Coach Smiley has been great. But like I said, it's just those guys believing in me. And like how you said, we can really screw up a game. We can really win a game, too, and that's how we look at it. And that's what my goal is, to go back there and make sure the offense possesses the ball and do what I do after that. Against Miami a couple of weeks ago, or sorry, the Patriots a couple of weeks ago, did you, when you're in the, when you run through the back of the end zone on the opening kick, did you have full plans to jump into the stands, or was that just very – organic natural and just spur uh, of the moment it was organic i said uh i've always said when i scored here i wanted to jump into the crowd oh, okay and, uh, <laughs> you know it, it just really goes to show bill's my how bill great bill's mafia is when we're out there we feel like rock stars so you know it's only right to stage dive and uh <laughs> <laughs> it was just great i didn't plan it i just saw the crowd and i just saw everybody and i was just thinking and it was the first thing that came into my mind so it was organic what are fans usually yelling in your ear or are they just screaming <laughs> in general? I've always been curious. Like, you know, <laughs> guys jump in, and right. they're all fired up. They're patting you on the helmet. They're whacking you on the pads, and they're all excited. But are they saying anything that's even le- even understandable? I, I didn't yeah. hear anything. Honestly, like, they can put, I have your chin strap? You know? <laughs> no, but you just hear everybody hitting you on the head. Uh, you hear a lot of screams. You hear a lot of right. cheers. And uh, really, people just pour water on you. That's right. that's one thing. I posted oh, a picture really? on Instagram, and there was, like, somebody just pouring water right on my leg. But that's really – I got out of there wet. So uh, that was probably the only thing I can think of and remember. Yeah, plus, you know, the guys that are there with you, they come in. You get there first, obviously. Then you jump in. And then there's, like, 90 of your teammates jumping in and, and <laughs> hugging. It's, it's an awesome feeling, no question about it. What did you – you know, after that, and you're going to go back and return another kick, and the same thing happens. You take this one, actually, this one's longer. It's 102. What, you know, it was a different call, different return. Yep. And you end up running really free for 60 yards. You make that tackle, the guy breaks the tackle, and it's, that's it. It's over. Uh, you know, what's Matt Smiley say? What do you guys say in the meetings? I mean, how did that happen? And what, what were you saying about the, the X's and O's of those returns and how they worked? Well, the first return, it was just a great return. Got to bounce it outside right. and, uh, you know, use my speed. But the second one, it was actually very interesting. I actually said something to Smiley, like, hey, let's go the opposite of the way we just went. And uh, then I told him what I was thinking about, how to set up the return. And then actually at halftime, Smiley went and drew it up. And he went and drew it up, and there were a little bit of questions, and we he showed everybody the return, mm-hmm. and then we went out there and executed. So uh, it was, it was, was crazy. Yeah, it's crazy when you know, like when you draw something up perfect, especially yeah. on the return unit to score. I noticed. So it. you didn't we, even like rep that during the week. That we second had, one. So the second one, we had another return like that, but since we had a, a certain block on the first return, we switched it up. And we had different blocking responsibilities. So my guys out there had to go I, out there and, and learn. I noticed he caught that thing two yards deep, and he kind of ran back. You veered towards the middle of the field. I always tell people that it really makes a big difference when the returner takes off and goes one way and then veers back the other way. Because when you're covering, you know, you cover those things, you're like, well, okay, here we go. And then when he slams it back before you even, he runs Mm -hmm. into traffic, it really sets up the blocks well. And that's what happened on that second return. Absolutely. And that's the one thing that, uh, you know, just as a returner, you have to know just tracks. Uh, Right. Really, if you can have a good track, you can really set up a lot of the blocks and give your guys great angles because you just those guys are aggressive and they know they think they know where the ball's going. So, uh, like I said, I set it up great, and after that, I had to break one tackle, and that just goes to show the other ten guys blocking for me. Right. When you have 
a hidden yard. I mean, it wasn't very hidden yardage. They both went for scores, but you always hear about the hidden yards that exist on special teams that, you know, the casual fan may not always see for, you know, they're focusing on offense and defense because it's just what's in front of the most of the game. Um, does Coach Smiley have, like, a hidden yardage goal every week? Like, hey, let's try to have 85 hidden yards in our favor, or let's try to be plus 85 compared to their hidden yards. You know what I mean? Finish mm-hmm. ahead in that category. But I didn't know if he had, like, a benchmark that he wants you guys to try to hit every week. Uh, no, it's not a benchmark. It's benchmark. It's really just uh, have more than them, have a better av- average drive start than them. And really, gotcha. after that, it's play longer and harder than whoever we play. So play longer and harder this week. For the, uh, for the Bengals, and that's what we do. We just try to change field position, have better field position, and play longer and harder than our opponent. Yeah, rule one for all special teams plays, even when you're covering a punt or a kickoff, rule one is, hey, the best part is we got to end the play with the ball, even Absolutely. when you're kicking it to them. You know what I mean? It's Absolutely. always, the ball is always at risk in these games. What does, you know, what is your philosophy about ending the play with the ball always? You know, particularly when you're catching it, obviously. But, you know, what do some of the other guys say and what's the attitude of the whole team when you know you know job one is pretty easy just catch it and hang on to it and everything else is a little bit of gravy uh well i think yeah i think that's the i think like you said the one the job that you said is the easiest really the hardest catching the ball and possessing it <laughs> and that's especially in buffalo that's where people like you know and they even say they send punters up here to die and that's really what i've really just taken uh taken um i'm trying to think of the word i've taken a lot of uh responsibility in Mm-hmm. And because, you know, I'm in Buffalo, I have to be loud with my, uh, my hot calls, my Peter calls. Uh, there is a lot of wind. Right. And uh, even sometimes there have been times where uh, I knew I wasn't going to catch the ball and the ball bounced towards me. And even though it's affecting my average, I try to gill the ball and make sure it doesn't roll all the way back to the one. And that's really what my goal is. What I try to do is uh, if I know I'm not going to return it, try to make sure the offense doesn't have the ball on the one or two. And after that, I feel like I have a great job. And like you can see Taiwan with me. There's, I've always got guys with me that mm-hmm. have my back. Do you um... – when you, I don't know, it's weird. Like, your scores as a return man have largely come in bunches. I mean, you had a game with two punt returns for a touchdown. Now you have a game with two kick returns for touchdowns in the same game. You're the only player in NFL history to have that. What is it just, does it amaze you? Do you find it weird, like, that it happened that way? No. You know, that, why not? Why is it not weird? What's, I've done it before. I did it in high school. You did it. Yo, you said yeah, you had I've games in high school and, with multiple score games. Yeah, I mean, the, I remember uh, my junior year when one time they went three and out, returned it for a touchdown, then returned it again in the third quarter, kind of like the Patriots. So uh, wow, this is I've done it in middle school. I've done it just about every moment in my life, and uh, even in college, I didn't have two back to back returns, but I had a eighty yard breakaway. They go three and out, and then ninety yard punt return. So uh, I've learned that uh, you know. I feel like my nickname that I was given, Nightmare, is very suiting, and I feel like I'm lightning in a bottle, so I feel like lightning can strike at any time. Wow. Give us an idea. We're or twice. Let's, yeah. <laughs> right. let's, uh, let's spin ahead. Just one last question about this game coming up. Certainly a game that was suspended uh, three weeks ago when, uh, because of DeMar. DeMar's now back in the building. You see him. Everything's kind of like yep. you can take a deep breath and like move ahead. It's great. And it's great, right? Um, and now the game comes around, uh, this time in Buffalo, and it's the playoffs. Well, I mean, you know, what's funny is uh, I, I have a friend on the team and I kind of was like, hey, you guys are a great team and uh, we'll see you guys again. And uh, that's kind of just how it works out with some situations and the unfortunate, unfortunate situation that happened. But for whatever reason, ever since that game has happened, has been suspended. In my head, I've just had a feeling we were going to see them again. So uh, I'm super excited for that. You know, we're going to start out and go out there and play, play our football. And I'm going to do my 111 to make sure we can help this team win and go to the to advance to the next round. Well, listen, Naheem, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate you giving us some time, giving the fans some time to get to know you a little better. Uh, you're always welcome back. And, uh, you know, if somewhere down the line here you want to get another two in the end zone, I'm not going to argue with you for one second. <laughs> right. Lightning strikes twice, <laughs> as uh, Naheem says. So I'm all about that, and I'll go with Nightmare, too. I'll have to remember that because uh, I was the guy going bananas on those Shout calls. Shout out to Joe from Garner for that one. Oh, okay, <laughs> all right. okay, fair enough. Naheem Hines joining us here. Good luck on Sunday.